if the promotional stuff corresponds with the actual impact of what this will be, it's going to be like we're sitting in a studio and I'm in fact banging down the Oaks Trail at 50k an hour on a foreign bike. That was a lot easier than I expected. Like, uh, I wish I knew about that one on the Oaks Trail. One of the most common questions that I get when I publish a, um, a bike review video is, uh, does it fit the Garmin? Does it fit my Wahoo element? And that sort of stuff. So yeah, yeah, it does. And I could have filmed the single track that I did on the Oaks Trail and now I regret not having had um, the GoPro mount so conveniently positioned. I mean, it's a little detail, but it's, you've got a range of fittings and that's what makes it interesting. So this one, you just, there's the bolt there. I've got, I had one which was simply uh, for the element bolt, I haven't adjusted that height correctly. And then there, now there's another one which has just dropped down a little and you could put your you can choose what you want to put on it. You don't have to put a GoPro Hero 9 on it. You can just um, you know, put some lights on. Maybe you could put it upside down. You could have a Garmin here, and I mean a, an element bolt here, and then just put a Garmin here just to turn it upside down and ignore it because these are so much better. That kind of thing. Um, anyway, tomorrow you can imagine what's going to happen. You're going to get a shit ton more vision from the front of my bike. Alright, I better find somewhere interesting to ride now. Oh, yeah. I might just go down to the National Park and hit some fire trails. Okie dokie. So, in a summary, yeah, it's all good, all work, no problems. That's pretty much it. But I do want to show you this, have a look. Hey. How's that for your Wednesday Arvo ride? Huh? That's your lap to turn around if you get a bit adventurous and you get a gravel bike.